Hey everybody, it's Ben. I'm up on the roof of my garage. Let's see what I've got done so far. Um, we've got the racking up. I'm using Iron Ridge racking. It's uh, mounted every four feet with S5 clamps and I've got the Enphase M215 microinverters mounted to them. And what I'm really working on now is I'm trying to figure out the electrical. So, we've got three ro rows of the microinverters. At the end, we have the trunk cable. And at the very top, I've got it going into a two-gang uh, all-weather box, and I'm using one of these weather-tight connectors. It has kind of a pinching device. You slide the cable through, and as you tighten this down, it, it pinches on there. Uh, this is empty right now. I don't have any wires in here yet, and the PVC is not glued because I'm just doing a working mock-up. I'm just trying to figure this out. So from here, the 12-gauge uh, wires are going to come down to the next box. So this is the middle row, and here, kind of the same thing. In this case, the PVC is coming in through the top. Now the PVC is running under the racking because it can't go over it because that's where the solar panels are going to be. And by using these 6x6x4 six by six by boxes here, um, it's tall enough that the top of it is still below the solar panels, but I got just enough room here to have the conduit running under the racking. So here I've got the second row going in here. Uh, so the wiring from the top can just pass right through here, but the wiring from this one will get uh, connected to wires going down. So this is going to be two circuits. I'm going to have two of the rows on one circuit and the third row on the other circuit. Um, right now I've also just got uh, uh, the conduit zip tied up to the racking. Um, I don't know what I'll do for the, for the final version, but for now it's, it's just tacked up in place. And if we go down the roof a little further, and I apologize for terrible sound and camera work, I'm trying to hold the camera and not fall off a 712 pitch uh, slippery metal roof at the same time. So down here, um, I've just got an elbow so the conduit parallels the, uh, the racking, it goes to the edge of the roof and then wraps around. Uh, the rest we can't see from up here, so I will cut, I'll go down and we'll take a look at this from the other angle. So from the ground we can see a couple of elbows for that conduit just to wrap around the edge of the roof, go under the overhang, and then come down the corner of the garage. Um, I ran out of uh, materials to work with so it stops right there but the disconnect will mount on the wall right here. So I'll just need some more material, loop over, across, loop up, come up through the bottom of the disconnect, then that will go through the wall, and right on the other side of the wall is my main breaker box. So we're gonna come through, basically right about here, and then over into the main breaker box, and then I've got a 30 amp breaker, which I'm gonna install up here because it's opposite of the main breaker. Um, that way any heat from current or anything is dissipated over the entire panel, rather than if I put it here, kind of all the current is in this part of the panel. So that's it for right now, that's the thoughts. Please visit 300mpg.org uh, for photos, more comments, and discussion. Thank you.